Right, here we are in a new clean install of GhostBSD. And we'll just have a quick look at the specs and the versions, etc. And as you can see, we're in GhostBSD 24.01.1. And it's running a FreeBSD 14.0 stable uh, as its back end. And it's on my usual test machine, nothing special, 8 gigabytes of RAM, etc. And so we'll get cracking on with installing Enlightenment. And in GhostBSD, it's as easy as anything. So first, we'll just go to Update Station to see if there is any uh, updates. I shouldn't imagine there will be, because I wanted this is the latest image um, I just downloaded the other day. So yeah, no updates available, so that's... Uh, that's good. You, know, you it might be different for yourself. You might need to update. If, if that's the case, then just install them. And then we'll go to Software Station. And... Well, there you are. Just pull down the latest list of packages. And we will search, using the wonderful Software Station search tool, for Enlightenment. And we'll... Click that little checkbox there to indicate we want to install. Just go up to the apply button and it will then give you a list of uh, things it needs to pull down as well, which is not a massive list. And we can confirm. And there we go. It should start downloading. Your, the speed of which may vary to your system and internet, but uh, it doesn't take two minutes, really. Right. So it's all installed. Isn't that easy? GhostBSD really makes things um, nice and simple. Go down to log out. And there you are. Uh, click on that. And we get to the login screen. And now if you click that little, uh, I'll just put the password in first. If you click that little kind of like Mate icon there, you have a choice between Mate default or Enlightenment. And of course we want to choose Enlightenment. We've already put the password in, so we just press enter. And it should, hopefully, boot into, there we go, boot into Enlightenment. A very beautiful uh, desktop, actually. It comes pre-configured to a certain extent. It's, um, you know, it asks you like it is now. It's asking you which language to put in. But I think there is plenty of room for you to customize it yourself, which I won't do in this video, but that may be for another, another video. So put keyboard layout, profile. Uh, do you want a... Uh, normal desktop or a tiling one uh, i'm not keen on tiling uh, desktop so i'm just gonna keep it on computer one i think yeah i'll keep it on the default adding missing app files not quite sure oh no well and here we are uh do you know hmm so i don't want uh i don't know what this is about but we'll keep it on should we choose that one? That's if you want large titles or very small. I'll keep it on this one. It's readable, I suppose. And, right, so, do I want you focused? Do you want it to sort of like uh, select your window when you hover over it, or do you want to click? I usually like to click. And uh, enable a task bar, I'll enable that. And we should, hopefully, there you go. All done. Like I said, there's plenty of room for uh, you know your own customization, but that's pretty much it. Now you can go and enjoy it. It's easy as anything installing things in GhostBSD, and Enlightenment's no different. So you don't have to be stuck with XFCE or Mate. You can use another desktop if you wish, and a jolly nice one it is too. Anyway, if you found this video useful, please click that like button. If you like any other videos that I make, then please consider subscribing. And if you do do that, then make sure you hit the, the bell. All the usual things, so you don't miss any new videos I might release. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.